City Council voting to put an end to internet cafes in Jacksonville, as one council member put it, once and for all. An ordinance passed unanimously, and it will ban simulated gaming devices. The only arguments tonight came over how much time the city will give businesses with legal permits to operate to get rid of those games or close their doors. Remember, this is, this is about public safety. This isn't about trying to figure out if it's legal or illegal. Councilman Al Ferraro had filed the bill changing the use of simulated games where internet cafes had become a public nuisance. Well, that bill, working through the legislative process, had twists and turns that ended up with Tuesday night's amendments shortening the time for businesses to get rid of the games at their adult arcades. You know, it's about enforcement, just what you said a while ago. If we're not going to enforce the law, it's not even going to matter if we have six months because, I mean, that's what the state attorneys agreed to do. That's what the sheriff's office agreed to do. There's a lot going on. And it's like there, it's like perpetual motion of how many get introduced or how many open up every day, every day in every all 14 districts. We don't need to keep dancing around. We know what we need to do here. We've been talking about this for for four years, and now we're trying to debate for six months to 12. To me, it don't make a difference. They illegal. Four weeks ago, a U.S. Marine was killed at an internet cafe during a robbery on the west side. Douglas Cox tried to save a life and lost his own, part of the trend that led to the filing of the bill. City Council was resounding in saying those games have to go as soon as feasible. Mr. Crestmany, I don't agree with your amendment, Mr. Crestmany. I think we ought to make it 10 days, frankly, uh, or maybe five days. But I, I don't understand the thought process here. And as far as worrying about the length of time, we need to err in favor of the citizens and not worry about the legal implications of it as far as I'm concerned. It's clearly illegal. So what are we debating in this thing? Well, the bill passed unanimously. Although council may reconsider the deadline they'll impose on businesses to get rid of the illegal games.